take a ride. I'm gonna set the club. Baby. What's going on, day YouTube? Uh, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for watching another video here on M54 or more. So, as the title says, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be changing the head gasket in Nipsey. So, it's gonna be like a three part video uh, removal of the head gasket, um, cleaning it up, show you guys how to clean it up, and everything like that. Um, what else? Preparation, all the seals and stuff like that. That one's gonna be a short video. And then reinstalling it. Got my boy Zach with me. Hey! He's gonna be helping me work. So uh, first things first, as always, clean up my work area. Cause it never stays clean. And then I'll probably uh, clean up over here, you know. Get everything set up and then I'm just gonna rip into this. Like, y'all don't need to know exactly how to pull a a coil pack or exactly how to pull a 10 millimeter. I'm about to destroy this car and there's gonna be no head in it in a little bit. So uh, let's get to it. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and remove these right here. Um, everything over here, um, fan shroud and everything like that. And then I'm gonna pull up here, pull up here. Um, get the little stuff out of the way first. That's what you wanna do first. Then I'm gonna go ahead down bottom. I'm gonna jack the car up, drain the coolant and i'm going to go for the exhaust in the back because i may just take the head out with the exhaust on it or i might be able to disconnect it but we'll see so let me go ahead and get the basic minimum stuff done real quick all right so everything is basically getting uh pulled out now so what i'm gonna do is get my 10 get on the uh negative terminal and pull the negative terminal off just for the uh battery so let me get that now all right so 10 millimeter to the negative terminal. Just loosen it here a couple times. I've got some other wires on it, but that ain't no big deal. Uh, there we go. Negative is off as much as it wants to be. Negative is off. I'm gonna wrap it so that it doesn't touch again. And I'm gonna actually leave the trunk open. So let's, let me go get to that now. All right, so like I said, we're moving through this. We've got the uh, vacuum system over here off. Both of the uh, air fuel ratio sensors out. The coil packs off. Wires for up here are gone. Um, T30s for that in the back. Uh, most of the intake over here is off. Uh, T40s for these nuts, these bolts over here. Make sure you have your torque set and your inverted torque so if you're doing this. Uh, fan shroud is out, so I haven't got to the bottom yet. I should have already got to the bottom But I just started ripping stuff apart So main thing now is I'm gonna get this intake off and then I'll get to the bottom drain coolant and uh, pull off the exhaust so Zach is gonna go ahead and start removing the uh, valve cover and then we'll uh, you know <laughs> And then we'll uh, get the rest of this done. So I'll probably set up a little camera so y'all see us work, you know, get down and dirty with it. But uh, yeah, let's pull this thing off. I'm on a time schedule. Okay, so we've got the intake out, which was absolute pain. Uh, valve cover is off. Almost everything else is disconnected. Um, a lot of people do the TDC, which is top dead center, off of the crank, but I'm gonna do it the old fashioned way. Um, drop a long enough extension down into the number one cylinder and then rotate the crank until it gets to its highest point. TDC, top dead center, is the highest point, which is number one being at its highest point. So that's what I'm gonna do now, pull one spark plug. I might pull all of them to see how it looks because I know it's burning coolant. So that's probably what I'll do, but I'm gonna remove some sensors, move the Vanos unit, I have my kit, and then we're gonna put the change and everything in the kit, 
and everything for the vinyls by itself. So, um, yeah. Okay, so I did it the old fashioned way. And just so that you guys can see it, um, that's how it lined up. Uh, you see the mark on the crankshaft pulley and the timing case right there. Uh, so that's how you know it's at TDC. I use the method of an extension and ratchet, but uh, you know, same, same, old tricks, you know, does duck dizzle. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, Venus off. But I still need to go down bottom, drain cool, and everything. So I'm going to stop playing around. I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so I was going to try to pull the head out with the, uh, what should we call it, exhaust manifold on. But it doesn't look like there's going to be enough space. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the uh, EGR here. Um, he's removing the exhaust manifolds right now. Uh, Vano's time. I've got my... Oh... One second. I've got my timing kit over here. Brand new timing kit that I bought. Tensioner, pin right here, cams, all that good stuff. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and deal with the Venos. And it's gonna pull these off. The ones on the inside, they are left hand tread. Left hand tread, remember that. So act accordingly. Okay, so Venus unit is off. Um, as you guys saw, I had to pull off the front cover, the cap, and then the left hand tread. So I had to tighten in order to remove it. Um, I'm going to leave all this stuff in here like these right here. I'm just going to pull them off as is. And then I'm going to try to get the head, you know, the head bolts out of there. And uh, I'll make sure I film this part. He's still working on the manifold down there. So we should be good soon. And then I have to take off this coolant line, which is definitely gonna break. So I already know I'm gonna need to order that. So um, let's get back to it. I'm trying to make this as quick as possible. Okay, so I had everything installed, piece in the back installed or whatever. Um, now, 
the timing is lined up properly so I can get to the uh, guide, pull the uh, bolts out on the guide. Once I pull the bolts on the guide, I'll remove the tensioner um, and then I'll remove this sprocket and then I'll be ready to take the head off because we finished with the exhaust and we should be taking off the head relatively soon. This is a project. So um, let's go ahead and finish up. Okay, uh, timing chain is off, uh, timing cam is off. I'm gonna take this off like right now. I keep forgetting to take it off. Um, still set up in the back for the timing. Everything else is set up. So now I'm gonna go ahead and like I said, remove this. And then, and it looks terrible too. I need to change this whole, ew. Anyways, let me stop. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and time lapse through pulling the uh, head bolts and then you know be done with it for today finally so i'm gonna go ahead and do that now All right, well, head is off. I'll look and see. I'm pretty sure it's number six where it was blown. Um, I'll figure out exactly where it was blown. But yeah, head is off now. Over here, I need to take it to the head shop, see if it needs to be uh, decked or surfaced or whatever. And then um, that's it. Camera's about to die, so that's gonna be the end of this video. Uh, thank you guys for watching again. If you haven't already done so, please be sure to like, subscribe, comment, turn on notifications. Catch you in the next video. Say peace, guys. Later. Peace.